hello my friends and welcome back to my channel look uh, what i have today today i'm uh, unboxing and swatching this uh, wonderful winter watercolor set by da vinci winter is almost finished so it's now or never and um, i received this uh, from my husband about one month ago but i always uh, take it very slowly when i have new supplies um, i don't want to rush because I don't want to rush. So let's open it. Now I have more supplies from Da Vinci, but today I want to open this winter set because uh, winter is almost over and it's time to open it. So this is um, six colors, six tubes by Da Vinci. You know, Da Vinci is an American small uh, manufacturer of watercolor, apparently is uh, of very high quality not easy to find in europe and my husband had to buy this from the us if someone tells me how to buy this in europe please do let me know because we had to pay um, customs for this so at the end of the day it was quite expensive but i was so curious that um, i was so happy to receive this from my husband so let's go and open it There are six colors and we're going to swatch them and uh, mix them to see the whole range that you can obtain with these colors. They are made in the US, so does it say here? Not much, but they are made in the US. Okay, the tubes are quite uh, large. Yes, it's 15 milliliters, so it's a large tube comparable to Daniel Smith or My Mary, for instance. And uh, the colors are Hansa Yellow, Quinacridone Fuchsia, Cerulean Blue, Perilene Maroon, Sepia, and Paints Gray. Quite a cool palette. I can't wait to swatch them. Let's try it. I will go quickly through the swatching. It's only six colors. And this is Hansa Yellow Light. It's not a color that I use very much. I prefer warmer yellows usually, but this is a sort of a lemon yellow. And first impression, first impression. Very vibrant, saturated, very easy to lay on paper. Great dispersion, wow. So, first impression, perfect. Quinacridone Fuchsia, which is uh, PR202, one of the two versions of uh, Quinacridone Magenta. I have a whole video about Quinacridone Magenta. I have a soft spot for Quinacridone colors. They're very much... Uh, jewel like they know you know they are transparent light fast very performing and uh, i just love them look uh, how pretty this is and i'm sure that it mixes is going to be great Beautiful magenta. Cerulean, this is a uh, hue, so it will not, I don't think it will granulate. It's a um, phthalo blue with the uh, PW6 titanium white. It's quite a usual combination. I think that Van Gogh, uh, I think if I'm not wrong, has the same uh, formula for a cerulean blue. And um, it's very much a phthalo, but I think that for a winter sky, this is wonderful. For ice, snow, look at this. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. I'm so happy I have this uh, Da Vinci. One of my favorite colors, Perilene Maroon. An earthy red, so that it counterbalances this uh, fuchsia. 
I'm using plenty of water. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. I need to compare my quinacridone maroon, my perilene maroons. This is really wonderful, beautiful. Mm, great dispersion on paper. Great dispersion on paper. Sepia. Sepia is a color that I always have in my palette. It's great for darks and for winter landscapes. So perfect for this palette because, um, you know, it's typical winter color. Dark, dark brown. It says winter, this brown to me. So it is uh, natural iron oxide, the one that is commonly used for burnt sienna or raw sienna, and PBK6, which is uh, lamp black. And last, we have the paints gray. Let's see if it is um, bluish or not. I don't mind bluish paints gray, I like them. And this is PBK6, always lamp black, and Prussian blue, PB27. Curious. I don't think I have more paints gray with this exact formula. Yes, and it is quite leaning towards blue. Very dark, very dark. Spain gray. It's a beautiful paints gray. Okay, perfect for shadows. Okay, we let these dry and in the meantime, of course, we do our mixes. Let's start the mixes and I think I'll speed it up and I'll see you later. mixes and uh, here we have the pure colors we let this dry once again we go to our sketch and then we come back to the swatches and the mixes
let's go back to our swatches are they dry almost okay they're dry um there is just a i don't know if you can see some sheen on cerulean blue and cerulean maroon i don't know if it is still wet or if it is a binder but it's not something that bothers me more than that so let's uh, revise this uh, palette. Of course, this is a very limited palette. It's a, uh, which is very good because I really make an effort to paint more with limited palette because uh, the result is much better. So the colors are just six. There are, there is no burnt sienna, there is no yellow ochre. So you have really to uh, make the best out of it, which can be really rewarding as a result. Let's see the single colors. They had barely any dry shift, very saturated, very pigmented. These Hansa yellow light, uh, you can of course warm it up by using Perlina Maroon or Quinacridone Foxia. The Cerulean Blue, who is perfect for a winter sky. And uh, these are basically three primary colors. You see three primary colors, and then you have these uh, more muted, darker colors for accents. So I. I really like that because these three colors are colors that you can use very much in winter. It's uh, colors themselves are very, very beautiful, very beautiful. The performance is great, believe me. I hope you can see the beauty of these colors on screen, but they're really beautiful. It would be interesting to compare them side by side with other brands, but believe me, excellent colors. The best way to see how they work together is to have a look at the mixes and above all at the sketch. Okay, these are the mixes and uh, you can have a wide uh, range of colors, some purples, some greens that you don't, didn't have, uh, some uh, muted greens uh, with uh, the paints gray and with the cerulean of course you can this is the mixture just of two but if you mix the hansa yellow with the cerulean and a touch of fuchsia you can get the green that you want because if you mix the colors it's just one and one but you can play around with three, three colors especially the single pigment primary colors and you can make all the colors you want so you see there is a wide range more on the cool side than on the warm side but this is obviously because it's a winter palette probably the fall palette which i have but i'm not swatching today is definitely warmer this is the autumn palette gold docker orange carmine mauve prussian blue and perilene green completely different so it's obvious that this is more on the cooler side which is good because you can have warmer tones, but you have to mix them and the overall result will have a winter feeling. Let's go to the sketch. Now the sketch, I'm quite proud of this uh, sketch because um, I'm, um, I'm starting to use more and more limited palettes. I have the feeling that uh, they develop better my skills and think that uh, the colors that you can reach the glow is perfect as you see you can have a very um, nice variation in sky and the beautiful glowing purples uh, cool uh, reflections on the snow dark very very dark uh, darks uh, sorry for the pun uh, for the trunks uh, it was a very pleasant feeling to make this quick little sketch with this uh, six colors i used all of them which uh, was my intention actually and uh, the wintry feeling is there i'm um, quite satisfied i hope you are satisfied too if you have liked this video of course like and subscribe and above all do not forget to let me know about your experience with da vinci or other winter palettes and what the color you use for winter or anything that comes to your mind just to chat about this video you know it's always very very pleasant to chat to 
build this community where you can chat with me or with other followers. And uh, I'll see you soon. Ciao, ciao, ciao.